At the intersection of Wall Street, Washington, Silicon Valley, and Hollywood, news is happening all the time, and there's always more to the story. Hi, I'm Peter Hamby, host of a new daily podcast powered by Puck News called The Powers That Be. Every weekday on The Powers That Be, I'll ride alongside the always informed but equally curious journalists at Puck News for an inside look behind the stories shaping the week and our culture. Listen to The Powers That Be, a podcast from Cadence 13 Studios, available for free now on the Odyssey app or wherever you listen to your podcasts. This March, it's tourney time on Odyssey. Bring on the brackets with local info for each team from the Locked On Podcast Network. Placing bets? Get the best tips from BetQL shows like BetMGM Tonight, The Daily Tip, and more. Then hear every game live on the Odyssey app. Plus, each Saturday, get ready for the weekend's biggest moments with You Better You Bet Countdown to Tip Off. Everything you need for the college basketball tournament lives on Odyssey. Yeah, spring training. Here we go. Let's talk some baseball, get the thoughts of Mark Zuckerman on most of these moves that have come across last few days for the Nationals. Uh, Why don't we start with Nelson Cruz, Mark? What do you make of bringing in the slugger who's hit 32 or more homers eight times? Yeah, guys, I mean, when that first, uh, the rumors for for circulating, I'm thinking, like, is that really the guy they're going after? The the Nationals? Is this this the place he's going to want to go to? But the more you thought about it, the more you realized it makes a lot of sense, I think, on, on both sides of the equation. If you're the Nationals and you can add that kind of proven power bat to now stick right behind Juan Soto, I don't think it means anybody's going to not pitch around Soto still because he's that good. But all of a sudden, that's a ton of opportunities to bat with guys on base for Cruz. And in addition to that, you have such a great positive influence for him, uh, a guy who's universally regarded as one of the most popular teammates around, to now work with him. So there's that side of it. And then even from Cruz's perspective, I know you'd say, well, why is he coming here instead of going to a team that looks like it's more in position to win this year? But honestly, if things go well for him, even if the Nats are out of it in July, as we kind of figure they most likely will be, they can move him to a contender in July. They can get prospects in return for him. And now he can go to a team that he knows is going to be in the race. If he'd signed with, say, San Diego instead, we don't know for sure the Padres are going to make the playoffs. And they're hoping to, but you don't know for sure. Well, all of a sudden, instead, now he's traded to a team that you know is a contender in July. So I think it works for both sides, even though it seems a little unconventional to make that kind of move. Yeah, I think it's whip smart uh, by Rizzo and company. They've done this a couple times. It's how we got Wilson Ramos. We spun Matt Caps into 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 their catcher for several years. Um, the pitching staff. This is an organization that has been built on pitching since they got really good, really, you know, just after 2011 here. And, and this window now seems to have all but closed. Where are we at here? Corbin needs to find uh, 2019 Patrick Corbin again. Steven Strasburg's thrown 26 more innings than you and me since the World Series. And then it's some unproven things. A couple guys I like, Mark, but hard to feel confident going into the season about about this starting five. Yeah, I think what's so striking, Danny, is, I mean, for what the better part of the decade, we knew there were at least three, if not four, sometimes even five sure things in the rotation. And right now, there isn't one sure thing. (laughs) There's a lot of things that could work out, and there's a lot of things that you don't really know what's going to make of them, either because of health or performance or lack of experience, whatever it is. It's just such a striking difference from what we're used to around here. I I think with the Cruise edition, they're going to have a decent lineup. They actually had a decent lineup even after the trade deadline last year. It was all about the pitching. And ultimately, for them to get back to where they're going to need to be, it's going to have to be pitching. And honestly, it's going to have to be young pitching that comes up. Yes, you hope Strasburg is good to go and he somehow returns to his old form, but you just don't know that. You hope that Corbin can get back to 2019 form, but he's got to prove it first. So to me, it's Josiah Gray. Eventually, it's Cade Cavalli and Jackson Rutledge. In the meantime, they've got to find five guys to put out there that give them a chance to win. And it's strange to think of that for the Washington Nationals because that's so different from what we've been used to here for a decade. Mark Nelson Cruz said something to the effect of, he was told they're going to make a few more big moves. If you look at how much they spent last year and how much is currently on the books this year, there's a big gap there. I mean, they could still do something. They could still do a couple things. I don't think that they necessarily will, but I guess the question is, should we still be hopeful that there might be something fairly large looming? You know, I think if there was a move that made sense for them in both the short term, but particularly the long term, You know, I don't think they're going to go and spend big money for multiple years on a guy um, because that's not really the mode they're in right now. 
But like the cruise move, if there's somebody out there you could have for one year, even at a high salary, who is going to help make you better now, and maybe you say, hey, if all the pieces did fall into place, if Strasburg's healthy, if Corbin's back, maybe this team does surprise, and all of a sudden it's a different story come July. But if they're not, then like we said with Cruz, you now have pieces that can be traded because you're on a, a, a good contract that's only up you know, at the end of this year. I think those are the kind of moves they could still make. So I, I think, especially in the pitching department, they're probably looking around. I still feel like there's a, a chance of them getting a real closer, maybe even another starting pitcher with a track record. But if you're talking about, you know, everyone wondered if they're going to bring back Kyle Schwarber. Well, he just signed for $79 million with the Phillies. That's the kind of move I don't think they're going to make. That's a long-term investment. Right now, I think it would be a short-term investment that helps you win some more games now, but also doesn't, you know, set you back down the road. Mark, you can call me crazy, but I like talking to you about matters you're of baseball crazy, better than labor disputes, Mark. This is better for me. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. Thanks as always, man. Talk soon. There are all kinds of smart speakers and connected devices. No matter what device you have, Odyssey has something you'll love. Blast your favorite music on home entertainment devices like Roku, Chromecast, Sonos, and more. Just look for the Odyssey app. Want to access more stations through your car? Try out Odyssey with Waze or Apple CarPlay. Plus, listen to your favorite stations on your phone with the Odyssey app. Listen to Odyssey anytime on all your smart speakers and connected devices. Odyssey. 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 Let's talk about what you're curious about. Hey there, my name is Mike Simpson. I do the news in L.A., fires and car chases and that kind of stuff, but I've got this list. What explains deja vu? Why are we so obsessed with true crime dinosaurs? I guess the T-Rex had feathers. That's what they're saying now. I have a new podcast. It's called I've Got Questions. We're going to go through my list and we're going to do yours. So come on, tell me what you're interested in and we'll get some answers. Find this on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your shows. Just search for I've Got Questions.